you have uh, one more business, don't you? Yeah. Like you got, yeah, tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, so, okay, the other, the other thing that I have been kind of working on as well is I'm now currently doing things with the Stan Lee Foundation. And so a lot of, yeah, yeah a lot of my, um, uh, my passion derives in helping children. I love children so much. I think they're so brilliant and like they have so much to give and like they're the next generation that's really going to lead our future. And so we as influencers have the responsibility to um, help teach them and guide them in the right way. And I, do you mind if I kind of give an example of what I mean? Of course. Okay. Yeah, go. I'd love to hear so, it. So um, there was this app that I used to be an influencer on. I gained about like 20K followers worldwide, like internationally, right? And I remember last year I was at the lowest of my low. Like I will be so honest with you. It was really hard to like regain like that uh, momentum, right? And so I remember, you know, being on there and inspiring all these people and like, you know, getting energy from that. And I've noted, I noticed that like I wasn't really being true to my words and I wasn't being true to myself. And I was receiving a lot of messages like how I had mentioned before, like that I, you know, maybe was helping some people with anxiety or, you know, like, oh, you made me feel like I can be an entrepreneur, right? Um, and I realized, wait a second, my words and my intention, like everything that I'm doing is influencing. So if I'm not believing what I'm saying, then it's not really, I'm not really being true to my audience and so like i think that is something that like a lot of like influencers do nowadays is they just speak without really thinking about what they're trying to yeah. say or like to express yeah. and i think that's really important now is like we all need to be conscious of the things that we're doing and um that's why i really believe in what like the stanley foundation is doing and i'm so happy to be an advocate and speak on behalf of this issue and represent them because I know it is about literacy, education, and the arts. And if we can help educate these kids on that level, then we're doing something right. Yeah, and he was such a transformational figure. I mean, he was our most contemporary Walt Disney, you know, uh, with all the superheroes yeah. and stories that he brought into this world. I have a really quick, funny story. Yeah. Uh, the first, I think I told you this in person mm -hmm. too, but the first time that my daughter met Stan Lee, he had this huge crowd around him and they weren't letting anyone near him. So and he saw my daughter and he's like, hey, you come on over. No. And so my daughter saw him and she goes, I don't want to talk to that old man. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my That's God, so that's so embarrassing. embarrassing. <laughs> You would not talk to him. Yeah. And I was just like, well, can I talk to Stanley, please? I mean, like, we'll keep my daughter over there. Can we talk? <laughs> so as revenge, uh, well, actually, this this wasn't really as revenge. But as revenge, the next daughter, I named her middle name Parker. Are you serious? And so after Peter Parker, You're I'm like, like, see, I told you. If you, <laughs> if you don't keep your yeah. mouth. <laughs>